Today's episode of The Chop Shop is brought to you by our good folks over at Manscaped. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code THECHOPSHOP at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com using the code THECHOPSHOP. This my shit. Welcome to the Chop Shop. I am Eddie James. Next to me is my brother from another mother, DJ React. Yes, sir. What's up? Peace, peace. Man, today React, we we are batting one thousand. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> we're batting the year off crazy. 2024. We got a legend. He is a legend. I don't give a fuck. Like a legend. <laughs> Helen from PG Maryland. This producer slash MC slash artist is one of the greatest. Man, I am a super fan. We are going to get into all things of this guy, man. As you can see, yo, this is one of my favorite joints right here. Yo, react this joint. It's craziness. I know he's cringing right now, but who is on the face? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, that's my man, Ralph Real. Oh my God, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to the man himself, Odyssey. Hey. Odyssey in the chop shop. What's going on, y'all? <laughs> peace, peace. Peace, uh, man. What's going on? How y'all doing? We're oh, good, man. man. Thank you for coming on the show. We, we, nah, we, thank you for having me, man. I appreciate are, it. We, we are super ecstatic over here, man. And and like I said, React, we are batting 1,000. I know, man. I know. 1,000%. Out the we gate. Are, we are, man. Um, thanks for coming on the show. Um, oh, thank y'all for having me, man. So, y- yeah, man. Uh, been a huge fan for a very long time of your music uh, as a producer and as an MC. And before we even get started, I will I will put this out there for the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Odyssey is definitely one of the most underrated artists. Period. Period. And definitely hip hop. <laughs> yep. If 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 you if you go and study and go and just go back to his discography and it and there's so much there's so much music in his discography. I don't think I would debate you on everything. Lyrics for lyrics. Go listen to uh go listen to Tangible Dream and then come call yeah. me. Right. <laughs> they for can real. start they can start for they can start with one on one. This will be sure joins on one on one too. Um, hey, okay, no. all right, all right. Yeah, one on one, man. I mean, uh, I think that was the first first jump. Um, I said jump because, I you know I know the DC Philly type thing. This is a production show for music producers, but we have uh, we have an artist. So whenever we have an artist slash MC double threat, um, yeah. you know we we had a couple on here, right? We had. There were, you know, actually we had a few, yeah, a couple. Uh, we yep. had Denon Porter, we had Focus. Um, them joints? Them, yeah, them joints, they all rhyme. Mm. Um, I mean, there's more. I mean, there's a Jesse couple. West? Jess West. Um, I, don't, I know I'm missing somebody. Forgive us. Um, ski, shit, Ski Beats. Ski Beats, yeah. <laughs> ski, ski Beats was. Vitamin D? Vita, Vita, vitamin. So. Oh, that's the that's the homie. I ain't seen him in a half minute. Yeah. yeah. Man, Vida's Vi- Vi- crazy. Um, but I will say yeah, this, man, like yeah. complete, complete package. Um, pause. I, I, we're not I, playing the pause game tonight. We're not playing the pause. You don't oh, that was crazy. Oh, he is playing the pause game. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm just, hey, hey, we, look, hey, when in when 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 you are in the city of Rome, okay? <laughs> Can't say when in Rome, right? <laughs> but 
double threats, man. Um, you are definitely, and I and I feel like that you do not get mentioned enough, and you really should be, um, because at the end of the day, um, one you have a cult following. I know it to be true. Um, I've, I've witnessed your page and your shows all over the world. You've been all over the world, um, but the music speaks for itself. I don't know anybody that that I've given your music to that said, "All right, this shit, you know, it's, it's cool or a mid or it sucked." No, it's always been um, absolute fire, and I feel the same way, man. So, um, I appreciate it. Man. Yes, yes, man. Um, just get into your your beginnings, like uh, with hip hop and uh, or music. Um, I think you, I th- it said like you had older, was it older cousins or older friends that got you involved really with hip hop or? Yeah, it was my older cousins. My older cousin, um, and specifically my older cousin, Frank, uh, he would go back and forth to New York and bring records back. Okay. And we would just sit in his room. He was the only, only person I knew who had a Technique 1200, okay. you know, and uh, he was just playing records and rhyming. And that's that's when I first got into it Mm -hmm. you know um was through my older cousin frank for sure yeah after that um i'm trying to remember the first record i bought myself i'm pretty sure it was um midnight marauders was like the first record nah it was nah maybe maybe midnight Marauders the first album i bought yeah second best album ever made ever midnight marauders tribe car quest what's the first uh low end theory low end theory um and then, and then I got I got top three. <laughs> Wait a minute, man! Did my top? Oh, he's <laughs> did uh, no. <laughs> well, and then, and then and number three is it takes a, it takes a nation of millions. What what is your number one? Really? You think of tribe number one tribe records? Yeah. No, no. You I said number one is low in theory for me. Eddie's number one and number two records of all time are tribe records. Yeah. Oh, are all time? Okay, all okay. time. Okay, okay. I, Okay. Like, okay. I, I'm, I thought I'm, you was I'm, rating tribe tribe records. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. I think I think the low end theory is better than Midnight Marauders. Okay. Yeah. I, how do you feel about that? I mean, I mean, hell. Uh, I would revert. I would reverse those two. <laughs> Ooh, word. Personally, because be, o- only because it's just um, a personal bias. Personal yeah. bias. Where where I was and who I was when I heard the baseline from Electric Relaxation and how it changed me. I'm glad you mentioned that because Electric Relaxation is my favorite hip hop record of all time. Yeah, of all yeah, time. Yeah. I'm, that's yeah. over. It might, it might, it might, might be mine too. Yeah, yeah, over Rock Him and all those classics that we ever heard from Big Daddy Kane to the Symphony, all that stuff. Midnight, Mar- um, the Electric, uh, Electric Relaxation is definitely my my favorite record, and 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 the yeah. I think the most flawless record. That I've ever heard, maybe outside of Troy. Yeah, those those, two, those are two peas in the pod, man. You know, yeah. um, I mean that 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 record that record started everything for me, man. I knew who Bob Powers was because of that record. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. like I needed to know everything about it. You know, so that's just a personal bias for me, for sure. But you didn't feel it. Yeah, that was it. That was it. That was it. <laughs> right, yo, react. That was my shit. Like, like I was in college, and I was, and I came. I, I had people's instinctives, yeah. you know. And then yeah. all I heard, was, dum, 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 dum. what? I don't know. I will say, I mean, they yeah. can be interchangeable, but I just. One became before it, it it changed sonically. It 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 changed a lot of things. Low end theory changed a lot of things sonically, um, drum wise, um, live instrumentation, uh, bringing you mm, know mm. jazz greats like uh, Ron Cardi to come in. I mean, that's why I say yeah. it is. But I don't know. We can, we can debate all night. We can do the whole show debate. Let's just debate. React. <laughs> 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 no, but um. Uh, is it Ma Dukes from uh, Sudan? Uh, uh, no, my uh, father. Pops. My father's from my father's from Sudan. My mother's from uh, Washington D.C. Okay. My mother's African African American. My father's uh, Sudanese. Okay. Musically, was there uh, any influence? Um, was was different music being played in the household? Yeah, for sure. I mean, 
My father listened to a lot of American music. Mm-hmm. You know, when I first started sampling and rating his record collection, he yeah. had Parliament in there, Frankie Beverly and Mays, mm. Marvin, um, uh, Peter Tosh, Bob Marley, Oof. Earth, Wind & Fire. Uh, he had all that in there, you know. Um, yeah. But he also, it almost seemed like that was like this experimental phase in his life because as I was growing up, he only listened to Sudanese music but he had all these records that he never played. Those records just sat there for years. So I think he was a wild dude in the seventies, just a different person. But by the time he became a father, um, he really settled back to only listening to Sudanese music. Um, My mother's taste in music was very eclectic. My mother didn't listen to a lot of like top 40 Mm -hmm. soul um, and R and B at all. Like my mother, I remember being in the car with my mom. My mom listening to uh, Carly Simon. Ooh. My mother was listening to Kenny, Kenny Rogers. My mother would be listening to um, uh, what's the, what's what's her name? Would make um, Annie Lennox. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Fleetwood Mac. Oh yeah, Fleet, Fleetwood you know, Mac's the shit. Um, like Nick. Yeah, Nick yeah. Nick my mother, my mother was my you're, mother you're was on that. You were gonna say yeah. too, right? Right with Annie Lennox. So yeah, she, the Arrhythmics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She um, was, she was, she was on that, man. She said Carly Simon. You know. Yeah, like so, you I had love like, Carly Simon because of my mother, man. So you I had, love yeah, Carly Simon. In, in the house of Odyssey, you had you're so vain. I think this. Song you know, my is my favorite song you. from her is um, <laughs> "You Belong." You belong to me is, is my favorite uh, song from her. Yeah, 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 I yeah. listen to that like at least once a week. Yeah, Carly Simon was a a, a trailblazer for real, and boy, yeah. she ran circles yeah. around James Taylor. She did. Did she? Oh man, I I, I read. Um, I could do like a lot of. I just I'm a junkie when it comes to uh, biographies and and um mm, and I mm. just I I you know she was she was uh she was out there, and poor yeah. James Taylor man. <laughs> <laughs> singing uh i just come out your name you know what i'm saying just why why Girl, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know that was, they were that married was they okay. were married for a very long time okay oh man yeah okay and then uh i haven't dove too much into her life outside of like the record yeah yeah i didn't i didn't know i was just all off base and shit i mean just we're out there i mean like i, I just like the funniest yeah. thing ever like she bailed out like uh John Forte. I don't think you guys remember. Do you remember that? Like John Forte's case? Like he went to jail. Of course. Some, with uh, the with the li- the liquid cocaine with the liquid cocaine, they put him under the jail for that. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Carly Simon yeah. was the one that did, so you remember that. I'm like, what is like nah, she was involved in that? Yo, I, word to my nana, B. She put. I was like, oh. "All right, I remember that vividly." I don't. All right, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go back. Yeah, when that, yeah. When it was like the weirdest. It was like, it was like the weirdest shit ever. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Carly Simon. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, like Herman John Forte got something cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is that any? Is that any less wilder than than what um? What's his name? Pros is on right now. Oh my god. Oh, this man is a spy. I know. <laughs> you got, he, he, can, can, can you uh, imagine? Can you imagine this? this can, can you imagine this? Can you imagine the visual? Um, with his rhymes, he got he got binoculars. I sip ninety degrees <laughs> underneath palm trees. You know, he got the. <laughs> just like, as he's spying and shit. It's a, I <laughs> like, mean, like, bro, like, I mean, I mean, that the the thing is, like, they make Lauren's whole situation seem the most stable. You got Pros right. trying to overthrow government. Uh, Wyclef was overthrowing government. Absolutely. Pros is, is negotiating with Chinese agents. John Forte <laughs> is moving boatloads of coke. <laughs> like, like what is going on? The fucking, we we need something on the Fuji's, man. And, and Lauren, we love you, Lauren. Like your your story, yeah. you show up, you show up at any time you want to, Lauren. Who your, your shit is light work to what's going on? Like light. we got one who tried to put a, 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 a coup, a coup in a like, coup, right? A coup in, in Haiti, bro. A coup. Like. I'm the president. <laughs> Can you imagine? But you, you can imagine Wyclef with the guitar. You know, I'm doing a live concert. 
right. <laughs> I'm the president. All right. Throw over throw, but uh, man, good lord, just just crazy events going on, man. Um, yeah, shout out to Carly Simon, though. Yeah, it's, Carly it's Simon, jam, man. Yeah. I would like to know, man, yeah. was 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 uh, you know, young John Forte giving it a business because you kind of yeah, yeah, kinda yeah. I, I ain't even, like, look. all right, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> all right, man. So so <laughs> I I didn't forget what what I usually forget. I'm I'm actually sober today. You know, I'm not on no Macau okay, or anything okay. like that. I had a long trip. Um, getting back to the point, um, of of the Sudanese music, um, um, whether was it funk, was it jazz, was it um, what kind of music was was that? I mean, uh, mostly my father listened to the classics. He didn't listen to a lot of contemporary stuff. Like my cousins, I spent my summers in Sudan. Um, every, every summer between six and eighteen years old. So you know, I listened to a lot of like younger artists, but my father didn't really rock with the new school of mm-hmm. stuff. He was listening to, I don't know if you know, you probably don't know any of these names, but like Terbas, Wardi, Kabli, mm. um, Mahmoud Ahmad. Um, mm. He was listening to like classic stuff. Well, I, you t- know, I tell um, you what, all the artists that you mentioned, um, there is uh, an app called Radio. I'm, I'm going to tap into okay, that. Yeah. Cause I'm I'm a definitely sample. Yeah, some shit. I'm yeah. a sample some shit from that. I am. No, I'm just yeah, yeah, a lot of classics, a lot of a lot of classics. The um, when the regime took over, mm-hmm. it kind of forbid a lot of free speech mm-hmm. and music that would be opposed to government or rule. So um, a lot of the songs that were allowed were songs that were like classics. You right. were allowed to basically remake those. So there's a lot of metaphor in Sudanese music. Like one of the most famous songs that all Sudanese people know is a song called Azza, which is about this guy's love for Azza. But everybody in Sudan knows that Azza is a code for Sudan. So like, you know, it's very poetic, poetic music, you know. Were you in, were you into that? I mean, did you, did it did it resonate with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went, it's one of those things through osmosis, bro. It was just around. Mm-hmm. Like it was a part of my fabric of life. It right. wasn't something that I was observing from the outside in. So if, if anything, I took it for granted. As a musician um, and producer, um, did you rec- Did you realize, you say you took it for granted, but did you realize in hindsight, like, oh shit, like like my roots were like really dope. Let me tap back into that. And did you go back to that? I experiment with time signatures because of my Sudanese heritage. Mm. I don't stick to 4-4 four, four all the time. Like I'll write no. a song and... Five, four, four, five, three, seven. Yeah. 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 That's yeah, yeah. And that's that's due to that's due to um polyrhythmic nature of just African music in general, um in, in specific Sudanese music, you know. Mm-hmm. So I'll I'll incorporate a lot of time signatures from Sudanese music with the percussive swing of go go and the grittiness of rap, and that's kinda all of my influences. What a wonderful gumbo. <laughs> Because um, <laughs> I mean, you need it, it is, man. man. I was talking to uh, Kev Brown, um, one of your one of your um, fellow. Yeah, shout out low budget crew, low yeah. budget crew uh, members, and um, I talked about the importance of uh, of go go music, um, how how it how the influence was was huge on hip hop. You know, um, I think you know what as a dj you know one of the first records i had that i was scratching and routine was 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 pump me up by trouble funk yeah and i didn't know the difference i just you know yeah. i didn't know it was go go at the time you know or uh, labeled go go music until i heard you know and i was trouble funk and then they had like a an album with, um that was really fucking dope um it had like get small on it um it was an album that they had. I forget the name of the album, but it was really incredibly dope. But even before Trouble Funk, I was in my house was Chuck Brown and Soul Searchers, you know, busting loose. That was that record played. Yeah. I didn't know that was go go music. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't yeah. labeled back. Yeah. I just thought it was, you know, just regular soul music that was playing in the house. My pops was playing that. Um, you growing up in that area, man, you guys are just that pocket of the DMV, man. I don't care what nobody says. I would put the DMV against anybody. In, in regards to what? What? Music or music? Or or? Period. Music. Yeah. And yeah. and definitely hip hop. 
Like I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, you know, and and then producers, obviously. Uh, I mean, producers. I mean, <laughs> what you got, you got? You know, you got you got yourself. You got the Kev Browns. You got Knots. You got this Pharrell. You got you know Chad. You know this Missy Elliott. There's Knots. Um, you know Timberland. Bank. Bink, Bink, Bink yeah. of course, yeah. I better not forget Bink. Bink. Yeah. Hey, Bink, hey, I love you, Bink. You, you better <laughs> yeah. not forget Bink because he'll have, he'll he'll get on your ass. He'll have a, he'll, have, he'll have a clip of this and be like, "Yo, Bink, vicious man. Bink don't play. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we gotta have Bink on a show." But um, so what I was trying to say is, um, with all, with all that gumbo going on, and then you have hip hop, and then you have um your roots. Um, Sudanese music. Um, d- did this create the young producer in uh, in Odyssey? I don't know. If it, if it did, it was subconscious. You know. Okay. I, I think I started off rapping first in high school, mm-hmm. and it was my brother. Um, There's two two different things that kind of pushed me into production. It was being neighbors with um, the Scheider brothers, Garrett and Marshall Scheider. Their father was Gary Scheider of Parliament and Funkadelic. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And they were, the, he, Mr. Scheider built a studio in his basement, and that's where we was after school as kids. Ooh, like the, the, you you know, know, A-Dats, A-Dats, the basis. One that's of the crazy. Bases. Yeah, one of, you know, other than Bootsy, yeah. he was a uh, basis yeah. for, um, for, for Funkadelic yes, for, for Parliament. Damn, that's right. next door? Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Scheider, man, that, that's our neighbors, and um, we was just over the crib. You know, that's where we was at. We was at their house, you know, making music and playing Madden. That's it, you know? <laughs> um, uh, so I, I was messing around with, like, Mr. Scheider wouldn't let us loop anything. He wouldn't let us sample, so he made us play everything out. So I remember being, like, on the Dr. Rhythm, tapping drums for, like, three minutes straight, right, into the ADAT, and then going on another track and playing keys and, like, craziness, you know, yeah. just because he was like, you got to learn how to play. Which which Doctor Rhythm was it? Was the one the gray one, the original one, the black one? Okay, that was the um, yeah, I forget yeah. which one, but that was the second generation. I mean, yeah. the third generation. Yeah, go ahead. Definitely wasn't gray. It was it was black for sure. It had blue blue and white writing on it. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember that. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. The gray one was like yeah. in a um like a like you can fold it up and it was like the original boss. It was the original Doctor Rhythm, but. That was oh no, you couldn't fold it. That joint sound better than what you're talking about. Yeah, no, it was crazy. The yeah. sound, the sounds on that yeah. one were, were crazy. So I was, I would mess around with production over their house, but I was mostly into like rapping, mm-hmm. rapping at the lunch table. Largo High School a gentleman comes up to me, he's like, "Hey, you nice? You should come to my studio, you know, um, work on some tracks." I'm like, "Bet, what's up? Give me the address. I show up. I go downstairs to his basement, and I'm like, Where, where's your drum? Where's your keyboards?'" It's like I I I sample. Oh, I was like, "What's that?" He's like, "This is a beat machine. You sample records." I was like, "What is that?" He's like, "You don't know what sampling is." Ooh. I said, "Nah." He's like, "All right, sit down." And then he just started playing me original samples from songs that he knew I knew mm-hmm. that he had. And he was like, "You hear this trap joint? This is where it came from." And I was like, "Oh snap! Oh my, my god! <laughs> what?" <laughs> Cause you know it's like I'm like it's go go and live bands and then there's Mr. Scheider and live bands. So I missed that whole sampling thing. It didn't like click. Yeah. So I'm like, can you show me? Can you show me how to do this? And he was like, yeah, yeah. So for the next couple of years, that's just where I was all the time. I was in the basement learning how to sample and make beats. And it was my man Sean Bourne who. Uh, Oh yes, beat. Sean Bourne. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you man. know Sean Bourne. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. Sean, I mean, Sean. Sean. Sean told me how to make beats. Yeah. Word. Yeah. Sh- yo. Yeah. Yo. React. Yeah. Sean Bourne. Um. Ill produce. Like. Like. You know. I know. I know all of them through YU. Shouts to YU. Okay. The seventy eight er man. That's 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 the that's the bro man. And you know him and Sean Bourne. You know. He, uh, that's how I got introduced to those guys. Sean Bourne. Ace mm-hmm. Boogie. You know that part. So Sean Bourne is, man, super dope, low budget. So he taught you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had an ASR X, gave it to me, 
And then he bought an MPC 2000. And then eventually he bought a 2000 XL after we met Kev at an open mic and started rocking with Kev. And then both of them had the 2000 XLs. Um, I had, I stayed on the ASRS. Wow. So yeah, your first introduction really to like sampling was like through like the, 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 those years with the tribe. Yeah. Did it ever dawn on you that, that, that it, that it wasn't, it wasn't that it, was sam- uh, was not sampling or you just thought it was like instruments being played or I thought I thought everybody was playing everything yeah <laughs> <laughs> the whole time like I was like wow so I'd be in this I'd be in the studio at Mr. Shider's house trying to like play my favorite rap tracks so I would call Marshall again like oh I know how to play the keys from whatever song like and they're like oh this tight you know um, but I, I just um, I never I never knew <laughs> yeah so yeah I mean like so yeah. you would just, uh, uh, instruments and then programming and laying with the um, the Dr. Rhythm so like he did let you guys record oh yeah 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 to ADAT yeah Oh man! See, yeah, they, yeah, they can't yeah. play fancy. <laughs> yeah, the D eighty eight or something yeah. like that. <laughs> we had the eight as you know the big big cassette tape joints, and eventually we had the little small ones. Yeah. Do you remember? The, remember yeah. The, remember, yeah. Remember the D eighty eight test cam D eighty eight? That do. was a shit for a minute. That shit was expensive too. What did I move? We moved when I when me and Sean started recording. On we was like, all right, we making enough beats. We need to rap. We moved to the what was the that Roland digital recorder? The first one we had. You know what I'm talking about, bro. Oh it had it had like it was an eight track digital recorder. You could flip the eight, flip it to sixteen, and all in one. Yeah, oh my god. The Roland eight. Uh, nah, I can't even remember what it was, bro. It was it was we we moved from that to a Roland digital recorder. Damn, really? yeah. I forget the name of it. Um, was it a rack mount? Nah, nah, nah that joint was nah. not a rack mount. Yeah, nah, it was like big. <laughs> Pause. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was. I know. I remember the. Sh- oh what? my god, it was a rolling machine. Uh, I know what you're talking about, though. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm it, pretty sure it was gray, but um, I can't. Uh, the, I can't remember. It, VS uh, the, 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 the VS two thousand. Might be that one. Rolling VS yeah. two thousand twenty four bit digital studio workstation. I, that sounds. That, that sounds like it. it was the one. Yeah. Tw- uh, yeah. Twelve. Ch- well. 24 yeah 24 channels 12 faders uh yeah you flip them yeah, yeah. i think yeah. that might be it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. This, yeah. Is, yeah. this is it. it comes with it comes with it comes with inboard effects right like yep. echo yep. delay yep yeah that's it that's it man yeah. it's that got a, a yeah, grip too cool. it's got a vga yeah. output yeah. on the back i think it's we got, i think we got uh, i think we got it for like 14 i want to say yeah yeah it was like 14 15 14.99 Brand new, yeah, because yeah. because the, the 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 XL was fourteen too. You mm. know, like you had to really be about it. You had to you had to really want to do this. You had to put money up. Yeah, where, for sure. Where, you know, where did the money come from? <laughs> hey, yo, hey, yeah. hey, nah, nah. Uh, come on, bro. We, we, all, one, we, we, we all that. we all had that we all had that cousin. You know, like yeah, I got you. I yeah. got you, cuzzo. I yeah, I, I can say I can say on record. Um, I can't say where my first equipment came from, but I can say when I lo- when I left Sean's studio, I met these two dudes. There was a heist who who was uh, they was they was hustling, but they were they were very smart, and they were both going to American University, a very good school. Hell yeah, they did their thing on the side. And um, they just kept buying beats for me and getting studio time. So I told them, buy me a whole setup and I'll produce for you for free Smart. indefinitely. And Smart man. They did. They just they took me to Guitar Center and just like, pick out what you want. That's how, mm-hmm. that's how I got my whole first studio. Mic, stands, keyboards, monitors, the did, whole thing. Did yeah. you say Did you say at the end of the day, like, yeah, I'm just going to keep producing records and, and it's eventually they'll just realize that they're not. They're not into this, bro. We did like three joints, bro. But they're still my man, though. Right, to this right. day, <laughs> we did like. There was still, some like, other they shit. Still my man. <laughs> Th- that's fire, though. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, yeah, they still my they still my good man. But they, we did like three songs, bro. Yeah, <laughs> that's fire. <laughs> no, I had no, yeah. I had some people who were like that, you know, turntable wise. 
yeah, yo, yo, cuss out, you know, or whatever. Teach me how to DJ, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, and be like, <laughs> you know, your, your cousins, they, you know, you know how they, they be bored with life. And maybe they just want to pick up DJ. And, and I was like, yeah, but I'm, I'm going to need, I can, you know, even though I had a pair of 12s. I'm I'm gonna need these, yeah, these black yeah. ones, the, the the black ones the twelve tens. He was like, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> to go buy these shits. I, I always want. I always wanted to. I never got them. I had a stand. Oh, word. Okay. Oh, yeah. you didn't need it. Yeah, yeah it wasn't that. Your music's yeah, great. It was. It was great. Did you DJ at all? Never. 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 Nah, nah. I fake DJed a few times to get some get some bread. Ah. But uh, you, did tell good. <laughs> you know, yeah, I won't I won't name the the, the, the reputable company that hired me. You did a Tal Lib Oh, no, no, you know what I mean, I won't name I won't name the company, but they 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 brought me out to a very high end gig and my DJ sat next to me and uh, he was like, he was like, he's like, this is the best job ever. <laughs> he, he was just leaning in. He was like, hit, hit this track, load, load up this track, hit this button. And then he's like, yo, 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 go, go take a picture. So people want to take a picture with you. I, I got it. People, people didn't even notice that I wasn't even DJ anymore. Yo, <laughs> were, were you doing the fake, the, the pump, the, the pump you up shit? Like, bro, I was doing, I was doing all the things. I had one, one headphone on. I was, you know, <laughs> yo, see, like, like, yeah. like this and shit. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I really, I really got into the character. You know. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that is that is wonderful, man. Um Oh my god. Oh my god, that is <laughs> See this is why I love this show, man, because we just man, like just it's about it's like the the little things, um just the little funny things, man, that you know, that we had to go through, man, you know. Uh oh yeah, 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 yeah. But but we're yeah, very important wow, and we appreciate it. Like to the two to the two guys that support it, your, your two homies. Hey man, we appreciate you because yep. look how he so, turned so out. To you guys, exactly. look, look how he turned out. <laughs> he he is super loved and and world renowned. Man, when did you decide that you were going to do? Because you're uh, an incredible producer, and your beats are fire. Um. When did you decide, like, okay, I'm I'm really gonna start putting out records, uh, and I'll just produce it myself? I don't know if I could pinpoint a specific year or time, but mm -hmm. the feeling was kind of always there, and it just grew, right? Okay. So I started off, I started off rhyming, and around this time in high school, last two years of high school, I'm trying to figure out what I'm what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life. Where am I? Where am I gonna go to college? Am I gonna go to school? Mm -hmm. What am I good at? And I liked, I loved a lot of things that didn't love me back. And rap was one of those things that when I did it, I got a reaction from. Mm -hmm. So I leaned into it. Uh, I wanted to go to school for graphic design or art illustration. My portfolio was not as strong as it needed to be to get mm -hmm. a scholarship. I got accepted to schools, but I didn't get a scholarship like I wanted to, mm -hmm. you know, um, I'm from PG County. I love basketball. I'm not nice. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not nice. I'm like, I'm not going anywhere playing ball. Mm -hmm. I'm not going anywhere with graphic design or art illustration. What is the thing that I do that makes people say, do it again when they, when they, when they witness it or see it. Mm -hmm. And it was rap. It was music. Anytime I did it, people would go out of their way to say, let me introduce you to such and such. Have you heard Amir? Have you Yo, I may come over here, like spit something for for this person, whatever. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you know, I had this realization. Like, I think I'm, I think I'm good at this because this is the one thing that when I do, I'm, I, I can visibly see I'm better than other people, mm -hmm. and other people are telling me that. So, I think I need to listen to them. Yeah. So, I finish, I finish high school, and I say, all right, I want to do music. This is it. <clears throat> I have a conversation with my father and. He's like, you're an idiot. You know, um, you're not, you're not going to make it. Uh, the, the percentages of you making it are very, very low, mm. you know? And I, you know, I made a deal with him. It was like, if I get a, a commercially released song before I'm 21, can I have your blessing? He's like, absolutely. You definitely going to fail. And by the way, oh. you got to leave all this art stuff alone, creative, anything you work for me. When you finish, my father is an entrepreneur. It's like, all right, oh, cool, cool. And, um, I got uh, Music Lounge 
placed mm. on Jazzy Jeff the Magnificent. That's right. And That's the rest right. was history. Pow, yeah. Dad. Yeah. yeah. First, first, <laughs> first song, first song I got a commercial release for and paid for, and I and I I, I hit my target, and um, yeah. I've been running ever since. And making albums was a means of survival, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm an underground artist. I make I make niche music, and I wasn't going to make a lot of money just rapping. Mm-hmm. I wasn't going to make a lot of money just producing. I had, as my father always said, never have one big thing, have five small things. Right? Yeah. Pause. That was crazy. <laughs> um, and, um, <laughs> just a little shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, uh, shout out to my pop. He's a, he's a wise person, uh, you know, and that was the goal. It was like, all right, if I can put out albums and sell beats and tour, all of that combined, I should be able to make a living off of this without being famous. And that's just been the goal ever since. That's what I um, I was explaining to somebody earlier that what I, what I truly admire about you um, there's only a few artists that can really do that. There, there are a few artists that can really do that and have um, a cult following. And really what you do is have you, it's it's a wonderful occupation. man. like you when you release stuff, you know, um, I don't know you do the schematics or analytics or how, how much, you know, every time you release something, you're going to do that. You, you perceived you want to do that. But I just know that when when I look at your career and I look at you and the stuff that you release, me as a fan, I'm giddy. I'm I'm when you release something, I'm buying it. I appreciate that. Thank you. So when the start of something came out, I didn't even know it came out. I was like, oh shit, he put out an album. <laughs> Copped it immediately. Yeah, for my train ride to work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that, man. Right? Yeah. And it's not just us. It's 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 I want to say hundreds of thousands. I mean, there are cuz you you've you've traveled all over the world to perform. I've 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 seen your career. Yeah. And yeah. and okay, Odyssey's uh going abroad and he's doing shows and whenever you do a show, it's a thing. Um Yeah. You know, and and, yeah. and that's got to say something, man, for um for guys like yourself, man. I would really I would I would actually love to have that kind of career versus like, do you ever think about that? Would I, would I rather just, you know, you look at your peers and look at their careers and then you look at yourself um, and say, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with what I have right now. Or would you just want to go through the roof and then have, and then just figure it out afterwards? Cause there are a lot of artists that, uh, you know, have gone up and then they are just, you can't find them now. Can you talk about that? Like, uh, which way would you rather have it? I mean, I'm living it. I'm living it. You know, these these were concrete decisions made a long time ago. Okay. I want to, I want a normal life. I want to continue to be inspired by the things that inspire me. Mm -hmm. And the higher you get and the more removed you are from those things, you lose the ability to reconnect with what made you in the first place. That's right. Mm. If I ever had any desire to be a bigger star, once I worked with bigger stars and saw the void that is in their lives, that that was a complete turn off. If I ever had any inkling for it, that, that was that was gone. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I don't ever want to know what it's like to not be able to walk to the store or or you know take the train or. Mm-hmm. Go sit in the park with my daughter. Have you gotten that before? Like, has anybody ever, you know? Uh, I put it in three categories, as you know, as me and my friends always talk about. Like, there's, there's recognized, there's well known, and there's famous. Mm. Uh, recognized people ask you if you are who they think you are. <laughs> well known is like a decent amount of people know who you are. Famous, everybody know who you are. You can't go nowhere. Yeah, I'm definitely recognized. People come up to me and like, you make music. Like, yeah. You from DC? Yeah. Are, are you Odyssey? Yeah. What are you doing here? I, I live here. <laughs> like, right. that, happened, that happened to me. That happened to me in Trader Joe's once. Man, main man was bagging up the groceries. He's like, You make beats? Beep. Yeah. yeah. You rhyme? Beep. Yeah. You from DC? Beep. Yeah. Yo, you Odyssey? Beep. Yeah. He's like, Yo, what you doing? I'm like, Brian, groceries, man. <laughs> right. Right. I need you to know, eat tonight. Um, 
but imagine imagine not being able to go buy groceries. I can't. I can't even imagine, man. No. It's no. crazy to me that people think that celebrities and famous people are like aliens. Like they're just people. Mm. You don't you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. It, like I never yeah. understood the logic. I got starstruck once when I used to work at Sirius. Yeah. I shook Paul McCartney's hand. That was the first okay. time I've ever been starstruck in my life. Other than that, you know, I've always been humble when I've met, you know, sure. famous people or, you know, people, you know, celebrities or people who have, uh, you know, celebrity status or whatever the case is. But mm -hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, we're all just human beings, man. And like, I just, I'm on your side, dude. Like, I would never be able to, yeah. to get jiggy with that at all. You know, yeah, we're social creatures. We, we're That's designed it. to be social. Imagine living a good portion of your life with extreme wealth and privilege that you can't actually execute or utilize to its fullest extent because right. yeah, it's it's a, a safety concerns or just an infringement on space and proximity. You know, not being able to actually really enjoy your work. Yeah. You know, uh, some some people and I, this isn't a knock to anybody that wants that. Some people want to be famous. You know, I mm -hmm. ask a young artist all the time. Do you want to make a living from music? Do you want to do this as an additional stream of income or do you want to be famous? Plenty of people say I want to be famous. I mean, that's what, it, you know, an extrovert is a lot of times. You yeah. know? Right, right. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very much an introvert. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't want a lot of attention. You know, I'm very much an introvert. I'm very much, you know, a, a DMV culturally raised person. Like we are hustle. We hustle hard and don't bring attention to yourself. We are not flashy when we get when we hustle, you know, every DMV person I know. And and even down, I'm not talking music either. I'm talking. Um, I wasn't I, talking music either. Yeah. 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 No, I. Like I played, I played football at Syracuse with some really incredible DMV um, athletes, um, and one went to Dematha. A few of them went to Dematha. A couple went to Cas. Uh, was a Catholic. Um, or, no, okay. Bishop, Bishop yeah. Carroll. Carroll. Arch, Arch, Archbishop Carroll. Archbishop yeah. Carroll. You know, got, yeah. first of all, I, I'll name drop. You know, Lawrence Moten. Um, yeah. Lawrence Moten. Uh, Marvin Graves, Garland Hawkins, you know Bryce Bevel, Bryce Bevel. They all went to you know those schools, and and they were just the low, most low key motherfuckers on the planet. It just yeah. unfazed, yeah, like yeah. didn't want no attention, no nothing. So I, I I completely get it, man. That's a very like DC thing. Like you don't, I don't know. I can't say necessarily now anymore, but like historically. Mm -hmm. You know, even our, our our aesthetic, you know, black, blue, gray, right. you know, yeah. plain plain cars. You know, we we were we historically were a city in an area where you don't wear jewelry Facts. like that. You know, one of the first cities people, Air Force Ones, for real. I I, I you gotta get at the Baltimore. That's Baltimore. We that's DC right. New Balance. Baltimore was was uh, Air Force Ones. No doubt. Yeah. But I said DMV. Yeah. D, DMV yeah, yeah, for real. Air yeah, Force yeah, yeah. Air Force yeah. Ones. Yeah. Brothers in the, in the city, like uh, here in New York, we we knew what they were. But DC cats were rocking A ones first. <laughs> that that's a that is a I'm, I will debate. Yeah. So it's, I I never I never really wanted to be famous. In short, you know that okay. I wanted to. I wanted to make a living from music mm -hmm. and I wanted, I wanted um, the only thing I've ever wanted from my, my work was my time. Okay. You know, uh, that's the only resource that I'm trying to purchase as much of is time. So mm -hmm. I just, I want to, I want to wake up when I want to sleep, when I want to eat, what I want, when I want go where I want, when I want. And, that requires set amount of time and money put in in order to get that. And that's the only thing I work for, yeah. you know, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not here to, for everybody to know my name, you know, yeah. um, I'm not here for uh, validation from my peers. You mm -hmm. know, I appreciate it when it's given, but it, it is not a driving force. You know, you were talking about time. One of my favorite Odyssey records is killing time. Mm. <laughs> you were talking about time. Yeah, time but. is a reoccurring theme. Yeah, time is a reoccurring theme in a lot of uh, my records. 
you yeah. know, um, song called No Reservation um, or Killing Time or um, the, the last full length album to what end. A lot of the subject matter is about just like wrapping your head around the, the idea that time is a construct, but it doesn't negate its importance because that importance is self-imposed. What do you do with your time? You know, Always and I, want, I want to experience. Yeah, I just want to experience as many things as possible, you know, Absolutely. before before I'm dead. That's it. That's all I, before I'm dead, like, what else is there other than, like, experiencing as much life as possible? So that's very that's true. all I'm trying to do. Yeah, you know. That's very true. Yeah. If, Time is a precious thing, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Music's just a means, you know, to get to get to that. But I'm I'm just trying to get as much time as possible. There is one thing I wanted to just, uh, you know, I, I wanted to bring up that's not music related that me and you actually have in common. Oh, 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 hold on. I, sh- sh- should I grab a, a glass of milk? I <laughs> I was a victim. I was a victim of the one chip challenge. Like... My whole okay. face was blue. <laughs> okay. Talk to me about how you felt. Because I was I was um... irate after I ate that thing. <laughs> Shout out to my daughter. She's the one who put me through it. So <laughs> I never forget. I was in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, <laughs> why? Why'd you eat the chip? Odyssey. Me and the me and the fellas. Me and the fellas. We was on our way to uh, Nashville. Coming from Atlanta, we had to pull over and get some gas. And I walked into this gas station. And I seen this chip, and I said, "Oh, please! I'm African times two. There's yeah. nothing spicy to me." Right. <laughs> and, um, you know, that's just like the ongoing thing is like I can eat very, very spicy food. Right. right? Me too. I've been I've been all around the world. I go into restaurants, Thailand, uh, Szechuan in China. And they're like, hey, you American, you can't eat that. And I said, I am black. <laughs> right. And they're like. Oh shit! That I think that means something different. I'm like, yes, it does. I'm gonna show you, right? <laughs> and, and I eat this spicy shit all over the world, so I've got like this arrogance to me that's like, oh, I can eat anything. I can eat a damn chip. That's that's organic. That's organic though. That yeah. shit is a synthetic ass chip. Right? Right. That shit is not. <laughs> that shit wasn't. That shit wasn't. Like, it was. It was. It was. It was lab grown, like right? synthetic weed. And, um, Don't smoke that synthetic. That synthetic weed. Right, right. <laughs> you gonna be fucking right. that yeah, synthetic you, chip. You, you, you gonna you gonna be on Broadway and Myrtle geeking, you know? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So, um, so you ate this. So chip. so. Yeah, yeah, just just as a like, a like, hey fellas, pull out the camera, film this, watch me. I'm about to eat this. This ain't nothing. We saw. And the cashier is like, girl, girl, he about to eat the chip, right? <laughs> Mind you, it didn't hit like at first. Nothing. Yeah. First bite, second bite, finish it. I'm like, yo, that's that ain't nothing. <laughs> and then and then the the cashier was just kind of just looking at me like this, like, and then it hit. Tears started coming. So the devil just grabbed my fucking throat. <laughs> like, and fucking, like, Satan himself, right? <laughs> like, like, Your mouth turned green, B. Yeah. It was like, like you were like, uh, some yeah, Godzilla was, shit. Like, that rah. shit was terrible. I was, oh. I was, I was in, I was in severe pain and I was, I was just drinking milk. So we made it to, to <laughs> Dallas. We were going no Nashville. We was on our way to Nashville. We made it to Nashville. I <laughs> like you were still we, hurt on the I was, bus. I was. We was driving for a couple of hours, but it was cool that the pain stopped like an hour and a half, two hours in. Right, right. right. And then there, wait, and then everything was cool. I'm back to my normal self. Get to the hotel. Check into the hotel room. I go upstairs. I start vomiting. Oh, I just start oh, vomiting shit. blue. Just blue, just oh like I like I fucking murdered a Smurf, and I and I just that's like like just, but one chip. You ate one chip, just one. The, dog. Listen, but, he's, but not, the delay, he's not lying. The, the delay was crazy. I, did you vomit? I did not vomit, but I was spitting. Okay, I was like blood. I was, I was spitting the shit out. No, after I after I ate it, after Yo, I ate you it. Know, it was so fucking my my mouth my mouth was so hot. There was a little bit of a delay, couple of minutes. There was a delay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Couple of minutes, yeah. but, but once it once it hit, 
<laughs> and like I was, I, dude, I was spitting for like, I don't know, I had like like an hour, a good oh. hour. I was just, I just kept spitting, but it was like, yeah, I was like spitting up little oh, smurfs, I like you think said. About... And why the fuck was it like blueberry flavored too? It was like, it was like spicy Let me blueberry. ask you something though. Let, let, me, let me ask you something. Do you low key feel like you got a superpower and now anything <laughs> you can eat other spicy food now? Because now that's the test. That's the litmus test, right? Dog, after I like, ate that, I'm like, yeah, the, I, can, I can eat anything now. Like... Anything, yeah. right? Or exactly. Either you so say worth, that, or you say yeah. I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> no, I'm which, doing which it. should be the, which should be, you, which should be, because you might meet something else that's, oh, you know, this is the hottest fucking pepper on the planet. You but know, like he saying? said, synthetic. That shit was definitely lab grown synthetic. <laughs> no, it's not. Stuff. It's not yeah. real. It's yeah. not. It's not. It's not a real spike. The way that it was delayed, like it wasn't it, yeah. real capsicum. Yo, son. it wasn't capsicum son. like for real. Like, I think it was like three point five million. I can't Scoville, stop thinking shit. about just God, yeah, yeah. Godzilla. You know what? The, <laughs> the new Godzilla or whatever. When that motherfucker gets nuclear, <laughs> when he gets nuclear, oh, that's shit. what it was. It was, it like was bad. A build up, and then it, and it is like blue. <laughs> it, it was. It was a pain. It was a pain that like I can vividly remember mm -hmm. like it happened like if i could i could recall a memory of how painful that was at any moment like yo did vividly. you ever say yo what the yeah. fuck is going when you were throwing up like yo i, I just how oh, fucking dumb am i ate a fucking chip i won uh, yeah i ate a yeah, chip yeah. yeah and i'm about to die off yeah. of yeah. but for real yeah like the the fact the fact that I ain't fold on camera like I'm 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 good. No, but, you did. My, my mom <laughs> you played you played it very cool. <laughs> yeah. but, but you know what's funny? You, you you were drinking the milk more often. You were just like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I drank I drank a lot of milk. I mean, and and not and not to be funny, yeah, like you yeah. know, like I had to rewind it because you know I was like, wow, like the chip made a mark, like because like your mouth, your whole mouth turned green. <laughs> I was, bro, it was, bro, I was oh, finished. Bluish green. I was like, <laughs> "Oh, he's hurting right now." I was finished. Did you do the show afterwards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was good after I threw up. I was You're super straight. straight, but I was I was scared to eat though. Oh right, right, right. Yeah, I was I was I was I was scared to eat. Like I didn't know what was gonna happen, so I I chilled. I think I just had soup. I had I had pho <laughs> broth that day. <laughs> I was about to say I was about to I say, just like, went. I just had broth. broth. Yeah, yeah, just pho broth. Right, that's all I ate was pho broth that night. Um, because I was terrified to like eat. Man, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that, man. But I'm I'm sorry to hear that we survived. Yes, yeah. yes, we yep, <laughs> we did, we did. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oof, oof. Production wise, um, I talked to Tall Black Guy, and and Tall Black Guy really put a gave us a gem, a gave me a gem, and said the power of of collaboration, um. Uh, your your production is out of it's it's just it is just fucking incredibly dope. Was there a period of time was like ah oh, man I'm I'm getting tired of trying to figure out these these chords, <laughs> or just find myself in the same within the same chords or, or sample chops and stuff like that? It was like yo mm -hmm. I need to um I need to to up my game and start working with um musicians. Um, I know you you started off with musicians, yeah, so you yeah. always had, or did yeah. you always have the access to the musicians? Almost immediately from the beginning, it was uh, a live music component uh, over my production. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of G Funk. I'm a big fan of um, old school rap a lot, mm -hmm. as most people from the DC area are, like Scarface, Ghetto Boys. Yeah, and shouts to Mr. Lee. What? Oh yeah. What stood yeah. out? Charles Mr. Lee. Yo. Yeah. What stood out about that production was they didn't stop at just sampling. They would play over the samples. And it'd be a lot of dudes from like church, you might hear a simply or some type of chords or piano put over the sample. And that really I gravitated towards that. So um I met my man Ralph Real so early in my career. I feel like he's been there since the beginning. And the way he and I work or Dennis Turner on bass or Olivier St. Louis on guitar or sometimes my man St. Ezekiel, I will compose a track mm -hmm. and then I'll come to them and I will hum or sing or whistle a, 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 the line that I'm looking for yeah. and then they'll play it. And they're like, oh, you're looking for a D minor shot. I don't know how to read music. 
right? <laughs> and then they play it, yeah. and then they add to it. And and that's how I've been working, like just from, from jump, yeah. you know? That track you played, uh, that first track you played to open us up, same, same, same situation. Just to have somebody on just in pocket oh, that's man. next to you, yo, is everything, man. It really is. We I, don't even need to speak. We don't even need to speak. As soon as I make a track, <laughs> he'll come up. Uh, he lives, he's from, uh, he's from York, Pennsylvania, so York and Lancaster. Yeah, yep, right? yep. Um, and, you know, he'll take the Amtrak up maybe once a month. Stay for two days, mm-hmm. two days and a half, and we'll go through 10, 20 tracks that I produced. And he's like, oh, I know what you're looking for. That. <laughs> That's how we, Ralph, Ralph got a really deep voice. He's like, oh, oh, I know exactly what you want on that. And it's exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> Is he o- OG, older? No, uh, he's just got a really deep voice. You know, he's, <laughs> I mean, like, really deep voice. We're the same age. You know, it's just. He's a, you know, he's, he's a Pennsylvania guy, so he he says caramel and he says use guys, you know, um, use guys coming up, you know, for some caramel popcorn, you know, like that's my that's that's my man. We call we call him the black trucker, you know. That man is like a black uh, trucker. Hilarious. But the soul is, is Ralph. Ralph real got the soul. Um, we we have a unspoken language at this point, you know. Um, he knows exactly what I'm looking for on all my tracks. And like I said, we'll go through 1020 because that's the speed of collaboration, right? Yeah. Whereas I'm chopping up all these samples that I don't want to have to clear and I'm getting my band to replay everything. I'm trying to find a joint on here. You said you, you're bringing up a funk joint, but we're going to find that joint. Me and my son was vibing out to this shit. I got two sons. One one who understands yeah. the music, um, which is my eldest Jordan and then there's Justin who who I have to convince like yo and then I and then I peep that he be Shazam and shit you know what I'm saying because mm-hmm. he don't want to be mm-hmm. too cool to look on my phone and be like so, so, who so, is so. that <laughs> I was like yo this Odyssey you know because I told him I was like yo we got Odyssey <laughs> I was like I was, you know we're doing an interview I was like, and he was like uh, but but I automatically played a joint and he and the younger one he's 16 and he's really into you know he likes t- you know he's into doom and <clears throat> he's into doom yeah. he likes odd odd future you know Tyler and all yeah. those guys Kendrick and then I play the music and I see him like he's still trying to be cool and shit but I, I caught him Shazam and shit <laughs> I'm like, dude, and then I just told him. He's like, what? I was like, well, what'd you just ask me, man? Just like, what is that, dad? Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, so we listened to a joint. Um, oh my god, this shit is fire! <laughs> That's my shit. You talk about funk? Shout out to Battlecat. I fucking one of my favorite all. producers. Battlecat yeah. did the joint. Yeah. No, no, I'm just I'm I'm that's, I'm inspired by Battle Cat. Oh, yeah, track you oh. about the play because I'm because I'm a Battle Cat fan. Yeah. It's called Evermore. That song um, got cut from to what end to my last album. Who who voted? Who voted? Was it a vote or you voted it out? Like just no, it's just me. It's just me. Oh, it's man. just me. I, I took it off. Oh my! God. It just didn't fit anywhere on the record, like sequence wise. Nothing wrong with the record per se. It just didn't fit the album. You should call me up. I'd be like, yeah, man, bro. <laughs> I, 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 bro. you know, I, I, you know, I, you know, I got John Blaze. I, I know, I know. You, 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 all right, all right, I'm gonna hit you. Say, should I put this on the record? Or yeah, should I, should please, I take it man. Off? Like, I'm thinking like, about taking this off. Yeah, I'll come yeah. by. I'll buy. I'll buy you whatever pizza that that's that's nice. And um, I know you don't eat meat because you like a brother that don't eat meat. Why do Why do people always say that? It'd be like glasses. Or if, if a nigga's remotely smart in a record, niggas think you don't eat meat. You ain't eat meat, bro. I. It was the way you, I, I, you, you I had your me. coffee I, in the morning too. Like you know, you had the real fancy coffee and shit. I, was like, I ain't, I ain't even stick. The, I ain't stick the pinky out. No, I'm definitely not. I eat, I eat meat. I just don't eat pork. Okay. Yeah. Why well, yeah, do that? I, I know that. Yeah. Yeah, that's non cipher yeah. son. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm not a vegetarian. Okay. Yeah. All right, so hey, 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 I work in Brooklyn too, man. I got a couple of clients in Brooklyn. I'm, I'm, you know, because we're friends now. Yeah, pull up. Pull um, up next time you in Best Style, or you know, I don't know, you know, Brooklyn's a large speak, place. Speaking of p- p- 
menopause pulling up. Ew. That's crazy. <laughs> that is Man, crazy. Nasty work. Either we nasty can work. you you at you we are at you are at liberty to say that you do not want this story posted or not. Speaking of stands, okay. Odyssey, you've had a stand. He was Sudanese. <laughs> what? Hold on, let me tell a story first. <laughs> Which I'm like, I had a couple. I had a couple okay. like weird I'm stories. About, I'm gonna yeah, tell you about. Which, this, I'm gonna tell you about this stand. And then, and then, ah! you, yo, if you pull this one out, that's crazy. Okay. Why you even told you some <laughs> shit? <laughs> <laughs> a little birdie told me in my narwhal voice. A little birdie told me that you had a stand who was following you from show to show. And you guys connected for a second. Quick conversation. Yo, when I get back from from Europe, yeah, we can link up, whatever. And when you got home, <laughs> dude was in your basement and it was dark. You're Stan. <laughs> Is that true? How did he remember that? Did, did, who, did Mike tell you that story? Did, did, did Mike sure tell did. you that story? Yes, yes. <laughs> Yo, that was wild that he remembers that. That's crazy. Um, he said he laughed right. so hard, but oh my God. <laughs> but, he, but, but they right, come to figure so, out that dude was kind of dangerous. So. <laughs> that's crazy. This dude, he this was dude, in your, this he, dude. First of all, he convinced. My mother. Ma Dukes. And he was in your basement. Yeah, because waiting. because because I had I had people in and out of there all the time, right? And this dude was Sudanese, right? And my mom, um, so after I got out of high school, I went to go live with my mom for the first time in my life. I was raised by my father. I, I saw my mother on weekends, but I went to Montgomery College for a year. And my mother lived in Olney, Maryland, in Montgomery County, right next to it. So me and my dad was like, why would you commute from PG? Go stay with your mom. She lives right next to the community college. Um, I was like, okay, cool. It would be nice. It'd be a bonding experience. I've never lived with my mother, yeah. you know. And um, my Sudanese cousin, Muhammad, also uh, was going to Montgomery College. But he, he had just moved to America from Dubai. And my uncle Mahmoud, my father's brother, asked my mom, um, he said, he said, Teresa, can Muhammad live with Amir? And they, they share a room and go to college. I will pay you, you know, money for my son to live here. And, you know, um, it was a blessing. You know, my, my mother, uh, by any means, doesn't make, uh, didn't make a lot of money. We was on, she was on Section 8. She had this nice big house. But you know how it is, okay. right? Yeah. So she was like, yeah, yeah, the, boy, the boys can come stay with me. And... Um, I met this gentleman uh, on the scene, but he also knew my cousin because my cousin and him were both from Dubai. Okay. Right? Um, so he kind of got in because he knew my my first cousin. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> um, but then I started seeing the vibes. It was kind of weird, a little pushy, not very talented, you know. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I go on tour. And I come back, I come in the crib, I come downstairs, May man, Mike forgot this part. Why you forgot this part? He was trying, he was in my computer trying to get files. Yeah, no, no, no. Um <laughs> it, it was mentioned that um that he was he was po okay. he was posing with your shit. Yeah, he yeah. was he was and, and <laughs> I, 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 your I looked down and I, I, I walked down the stairs because uh to the base the whole basement was my studio, and I just look at him. Was it dark? And I go upstairs. <laughs> it was it was dry dark. And then I go upstairs to my mother, and I was like, "Mom, why? How he get in here?" And, and she said, "Oh, he he said um he was expecting him, baby. He he said he knew that you was coming back today, and uh you was expecting him." I said, "Mom, I'm not expecting that man. <laughs> I don't. I didn't tell him to be here." And then I you know um I went into I went I went into mode and. I will leave the graphic details of what happened afterwards out, but he was promptly escorted off the premise. Uh -huh. And um, I, I never saw him again 
And then he had ran his name in the dirt with a lot of other people in the DC scene from a lot of like pathological lies and whatnot. Yeah. Here's the funny thing about you bringing up that story. Mm -hmm. I just played a festival in Dubai in December. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen this man or heard from him since that story. Who DMs me saying, <laughs> I see you coming to Dubai. It'd be good to link. <laughs> no, it won't. <laughs> First of all, that, that, first of all, it would be good to link is uh, super possible. No, we're not linking at all, B. <laughs> My, mind you, this was this was this had to be 13, 14 years ago. So for him, it's like, ah, you know, ah. You know, forget well, we ain't seen each other like, you know. <laughs> all all is forgiven, right? <laughs> That's wild. No. All, was it, all so he was forgiven. there? No. It, he had, apparently he had to move back. Things didn't work out in the States. I don't really know. He My was there Emma at your show. He moved back. No, I didn't see him at the festival. Oh, he he was, probably was trying to hit me up to get tickets for the festival. He was there. Right? Like, let's be real. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. I was, oh. I, was, I was there for three days. I didn't see him. I didn't see him. You oh, know. my God. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I don't just, even know if I recognize him low key. Like, you know. But that's a true story. Yeah, 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 that's that's a true story. That's not the one I thought you was going to bring up. But yeah, Mike would remember that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've, had a, I've had I've had a, I've had a few. You know, you know why you yeah. super cool. He was like, yeah, man. You know, <laughs> you laugh right because that's his pot. That's the pot. I can nah, I can, nah, because I can because I can, cause I can, said, I can hear it right now. He was a, like, yeah, we came said, back got, from the jump. He's like, I got a lot, but. He's like, oh man, like man, like I said, <laughs> was, I was like, yo, uh, well, he might feel a certain way. He was like, yeah, man, like yeah. He was like, words, <laughs> but I got a lot of them. <laughs> like, but, oh, you know, we we shouts to I mean, even that man. tour that we went on. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's the homie right there. Yeah. React, can you please play the joint, man? I just love everything about this record. This is a record I played this shit twice. I had to rewind it for my son. My God. Yeah, this for the culture. Gotta keep it straight like Gibraltar or the crease upon jeans with Travolta. We was dancing like machines of JB. Cape up on his shoulders with the Mike Prince pulled up out the holster. Same tree that represent blackness from the passage. The past is alive and well, surprising like magic. The altar with his classic. Now I ain't reinvent the wheel. I simply put some spinners on it and begin to peel. Too so many layers to my people, but we tend to feel as though the media presents us like we sent to kill. And it's tragic. We the fabric of any field. We make a static from a static when we interfere. To be the leader means you never see the vision clear. Too busy blazing for the followers to get the steal. I'm a smoke for all creators who ain't getting the deal. The culture first. If you fall into it, it's the real. Oh, my. Yeah, music's crazy. Oh, oh my oh. God. Oh, the, uh, oh, the, uh. <laughs> it's so crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Yo. yeah, we're going to have fun rocking that joint live. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, so the influence, man, like, shouts to Battle Cat, man, who is a god. He is a god yeah. Yeah. producer. That man, that man go crazy. He yes. go crazy, yes. man. Um, yeah. But lyrically, basically, you know, you, you're in the tribe, um, De La, Rakim, um, basically because it was, was nonviolent. Um, is that true? Uh, no, I, I not maybe not not because of nonviolent. Because reasonable doubt, probably my favorite album of all time. Oh, um, word. Okay. Yeah, um, I was a big J fan. Um, okay. Ghetto Boys, like I said, you know, um, Outkast. You know, th those are like my like cornerstone. Is which, like which one? Southern, uh, Southern playlistic or. Uh, AC Aliens is my favorite Outkast record. Uh, was was yeah, mainstream yeah, on that yeah. one? Mainstream is shit. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. Okay. AC Aliens is my favorite Outkast record. Um, mm -hmm. These are my influences. Like, okay. obviously, the one of the biggest, the biggest is Jay Dilla, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm um, Native Tongues and the Uma. Yeah, the, the Dungeon Family, early rap a lot. Mm. G Funk. 
you know, um, mm-hmm. reasonable doubt. And that's, that's, I could put like, like ski because Uptown yeah. Saturday Night Live is probably my second. Oh my If God. I had to like favorite record, and it's definitely like, it's my, my, my second favorite record simply for the beats alone, but yeah. it's probably my second favorite album. Um, and my third favorite produced record, not lyrically, but produced, and that's no disrespect, is um, the Group Home album. I think that's my favorite Primo album. Mm. Right? Word. Um Those are my favorite beats on any, uh, my whole the favorite compo- like, compilation of beats from Primo on one record is the Group Home record. What about, yeah. what about J. Rue's album? Rap for the Math? Which one? The first one. What, what, can't oh, stop I, the crazy. Beat. Come on. No, no, look, look, it's hard, but that, that group oh. home, that group home record, bro. Come I, on, I, I, man. I, I, go I, listen I, to it when we finish this. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to go, yo, react. I'm going to have to go back because I honestly, yo, I think that maybe there might have been some problems between Primo and, and, and Guru because he literally gave J. Rue yeah. the dopest beats would come clean. Now, I'm going to have to revisit that the, record. And, can't stop the profit. Yeah. Um, yeah. um, the, um, was it the, was it, um, was it the hose? Was it called the hose? You know, I think that's on Raffin the Map. You know, you know, dun, 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 dun. Bum, bum, bum. No, bum, bum, the bitches, the bitches. You oh, know it's the about bitches, the bitches. Boom. The paper, the, the paper. Bing, but then again, it was bing, the paper. Oh no, yeah, that's the first one. The bitches, the bitches, and then that's part two is on rapping the Mad. That's part right. The bitches, yeah. the bitches yeah, on the yeah, first yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. It's on the first one. Yeah, yeah. But man, just a wonderful gumbo of uh of influences, man. Um, and I'm glad you said. I'm yeah. glad you said that because people. Like, like, and I have to learn myself. Um, React and I have to learn ourselves. Um, like when we do our little homework and bullet points, <laughs> don't go to a nonviolent <laughs> listening to vegetarian. <laughs> don't go to Wikipedia. No, right way, you told us a story about you're locked out of your Wikipedia. You couldn't, you couldn't even fucking put shit. Uh, uh, uh give, nah, give I your can't, own I, input I can't change with my Wikipedia. Wikipedia. That's crazy. I could I could not change my own Wikipedia. It was it was one. It said I was from Baltimore. It said I was from Philly. It said I was from Silver Spring. I couldn't change it. Yeah. That don't a, use Wikipedia for research, people. <laughs> don't don't man. You you end up like a looking crazy like I did just recently. <laughs> I was like, uh, uh, and it, but 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 you, but you were very calm about it. You you know you're like uh. Nah, I'm cool because reasonable doubt was, kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, <laughs> no, because it's like that, boys kind of that you reasonable know, doubt. <laughs> you know, I was like, and, and literally, I, no, as I, you, I, I get it. I get it. I wear glasses. You know, uh, I don't use profanity in my music. People just think, oh, this that's that nerd shit. You probably don't eat meat and like don't like violence. <laughs> like, nigga, I love violence. <laughs> <laughs> I find violence very entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> you say glasses, eat vegan, and don't <laughs> and drink and drink coffee and shit. Right, right. right. No, not not only drink coffee because I drink coffee, I, but you honestly saw your, that. You honestly saw that motherfucker <laughs> stand in his basement and took his glasses off. I guess. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can't even imagine how that went, but but yeah, no, I was like, no, it's just like, but everything's so eloquent. I appreciate it. I, yeah. I, life is short. I, I like high quality. I do like high quality. Yeah, I do like man. high quality. Yeah, I do. it makes its own. I do. Um, coffee. You know what it is. You, you know what it is. Most people. I won't say most people. Um, I say a lot of people in metropolitan cities. Yeah, they subscribe to life. They subscribe to life, and I live. I live life, right? Yeah. There's always a context to anything that I'm interested in. This isn't something that I just thought was dope and hopped on. My affinity for coffee is because I'm East African, right? Okay. Ethiopia is the birthplace of coffee. Literally, is the right. birthplace of coffee, yeah. mm. right? And Sudan and Ethiopia are neighbors. Our coffee culture is Ethiopian coffee culture and Sudanese culture. Our words for coffee, we don't even use the Arabic words for coffee in Sudan. We use the Amharic words for coffee, right? Mm -hmm. So you take that to D.C. 
where we have the largest population of Ethiopians outside of Ethiopia, you're just going to, way before the rest of America gets on dope coffee, you just have good coffee wherever you at, you know? Before we wrap up. Yeah. Coffee plug. Talk to me. Spill the beans. Get it? Tell us. Tell us. I need to know. I need to know. Yeah, yeah. I need to know. uh, He makes his own. He grows it. In his vegan backyard in Brooklyn, <laughs> with my my uh, beehive on on my rooftop uh, beehive, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my man, you on you on the K cups? I can't do nothing for you, bro. You trying to leap? You trying to leap bounce? You can't you can't come over. You missing like several steps. <laughs> no, dog, I, I was uh, <laughs> it, listen. It's a, it's an ease of uh, I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's just. It's You're quick, asking me to perform miracles. I can't perform miracles. I can, I can, I can. You know, all right. From, well, give from me, one step to the next, you know. Give me a suggestion. <laughs> Besides K cups, a suggestion. Like if, like if I was going to go to the all store right. and buy something, you know, real, like some real good shit, you know. Okay. The first thing you're going to do is not go to the store. Okay. The first thing you're going to do. Okay. You're going to go. You're going to go find a really good coffee shop or roaster in your neighborhood that either sells um, small batch roast or roast themselves. Okay. And um, you're going to talk to that barista and say, um, this is what I like in coffee. I like coffee that's bold, but not too bitter, maybe with a little bit of sweetness or maybe with a chocolatey taste. And the barista is going to be like, I recommend you buy those beans. Then you're going to go on YouTube University and (laughs) say, how do you make a pour over? I have a presser. Yeah, a French press. I do have a French press, yes. Okay, you got a grinder? Someone told me that it needs to be a specific, the grinds need to be a specific so size. You want, to, you want to be a ceramic a ceramic burr instead of stainless steel is probably what they told you. Okay. You can't change the grinder setting on, on your coffee, on your grinder? You no, can't change it's the like setting. just a regular, you know, cheap Amazon gotcha. joint, yeah. Go on Amazon, buy an uh, Encore, uh, Baratza Encore. It's a cheap, cheap electric grinder. Okay. And you can adjust the size from espresso to French press. Okay. And um, have fun. Have fun. Like, start making coffee by hand. And even the most trained baristas, when you get a new coffee, it's a process called dialing in, mm-hmm. where you have to figure out the grind size, the temperature, water size, the ratio of water to coffee. It takes several cups to dial it in and really get those notes to, that, 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 to come out. Yeah. Have fun. Man. It's, it's, whatever you make is going to be an infinitely better cup of coffee than, than a what I, cup of what, what you're buying. That, yeah, Either it's, it's, it's going to be infinitely instantly better. Or yeah. it's going to be instantly fucking trash. It's going to taste like <laughs> duty, B. This man, this man does not want you to be great. <laughs> That's what this that is. is. Not nice. <laughs> no, trust me. I'm the, nice. more, I'm the more optimistic one out of out, out of the two. Trust me. Why okay. would it taste bad though? Okay. Okay. It's, it's gonna because taste you can fuck it up. Cure. I mean, I can. Well, I mean, honestly, you you, you, you can under extract. You can under extract, and you. it'll be watery. You can over. You can yeah. over extract. It'll be bitter. Saying. You know. Um, See, you're you wearing off under on me. The react. of your water. <laughs> All of that could go could go wrong, but hit me after we finish this at any point, and I'll give you like a breakdown. And you can we all hang out sometime because I like oh, to I appreciate that. Odyssey. Yeah, I mean, come 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 I'll through. Come, I'll through. come through. to Brooklyn. Come through. Like he's 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 saying come, come through, through now, people, and and I'm gonna hit. I'm, <laughs> I'm not joking. All right, I'm gonna hit you up. I'm and, not joking. And, Look, and, and and we'll go. I'm in the to- studio Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday from nine to five, I'm in the studio. I don't work weekends. I don't work nights. If if you in New York, if you in Brooklyn, nine to five, you best on Monday through Friday. Yeah. I'm here. But yeah. we're gonna be best pals because I always want to be best. Pals. <laughs> I, I, I always, I always say no. You're not, you're not gonna be in. Here. You're not gonna be in my studio before me. No, I won't. <laughs> Uh, I, I promise I, I, I promise I, I will not uh, that's funny you know but man this is this has been great man yeah, this, thank you sir thank you so much yeah, man. man appreciate y'all yeah, you, you yeah. are a gentleman your music is is timeless <laughs> I can't wait um, I do want to say for the nerds real quick what are you working on uh, I am working um, Pro Tools that's it I make beats in Pro Tools. Okay. I, I, that's it. I've been making I've been making beats in Pro Tools for a very long time. 
Okay. Um, I have a uh, complete keyboard. Mm-hmm. I have an insane amount of plugins. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have an Apollo uh, Duo with a satellite. Um, mm. I have amazing, amazing, amazing PMC speakers. And I have a like spaceship of a MacBook Pro customized, decked out all specs to the top. Man, I need, I need, I need a new, I need a new laptop, man. That just, that just, that just struck Bro. a chord, and, and me and everyone's hard. <laughs> what are we talk. They on something different now, like so. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's all I'm. That's all I'm. Uh, I, I'm a minimalist at heart, so I don't like a lot of gear. I don't like a lot of outboard gear. Yeah, um, and I I come from outboard gear, so right. mm-hmm. I. I'm not like, oh, I got you. Got to get that sound. I remember I was there, and this shit is very close to it, and it's close enough for the niggas listening to this shit. So we are gonna use these plugins, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that's you great. know, um, that's just that's just how I am. You know, native instruments guy. I'm assuming a complete complete old. Um, uh, I use most plugins. I use is Universal Audio. I have a lot of UA plugins. That's what that's probably what I lean on the heaviest as far as sounds. Um, yeah, uh, a lot of complete, um, I buy a lot of sounds from like makers, uh, what's that phono loop? Um, okay. Uh, the rest of the retro bass one. I love that. Um, special sonic atmosphere, keyscape. Yeah. You know, oh, that's where I'm man. getting a lot of my keys and stuff. I'm getting my keys from that. Gotcha. You know, but yeah, the UAD, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the UAD, uh, the plugins that come with the, uh, uh the Apollo yeah, are crazy. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I had I had to get a um, a satellite on my old computer because this joint was just like dying. <laughs> right. But now I got I got a new computer. It was like you can't use any you can't use yeah. any more plugins. That, right? that, that, that's what I had. That's what I have. I have going on right now. I have I have a new uh, you know I have a new computer or a new M. M. What what do you call it? Uh, Max Mini. Yeah, I have a new Mac Mini that's that's got no love, and then I, I but I still find yeah. myself using my 2009 Mac. I, I just I, I don't want to break yeah. from it. I just don't. It's still. This working. is my favorite purchase right here. What's that? Portable I'm in love SSD. With this. Yep. I Ooh. got one. I got yes. one somewhere. This is my look, bro. This is crazy. What? This is four terabytes yeah, solid one? state. Yep. Which one is that? Which brand is that? Lacey. Lacey. Oh Ooh, yeah. See, I, 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 I was gonna. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna get the Lacey. This is here. this is crazy. Four terabyte solid state. Dude, look at this. Is they still a USB three C. This is an external. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is an external oh, yeah. four terabyte yep. solid yep. state drive. Yep. Oh, I have. Yeah, it. isn't that crazy? Well, that's where Craziness. we at now. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going back. I'm not going back to nothing. Like, yeah, that's it. That's it. Crazy. This is me now. This is what I've become. Like, no moving yeah. parts, right? You, no moving parts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, USB-C no to yeah. USB-C. Yeah. That's it, yeah. bro. Super fast. Like, my, my, oh, my, 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 my whole setup is super quick. Super yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what I have over here. I'm I'm the ignorant <laughs> one. <laughs> I, all I know is th- this is okay. No, that's a, that's a this, solid state. That's the Samsung. Is, this is the yeah, Samsung. Yeah, I think, I think you're doing all right, bro. You yeah, that's the T7. I don't use it though. No, you need to. That's the Samsung T7. Look at it. Okay, it gets no. You need to. It gets no love. You need to. I'm over here playing. What with you, the, what, what do you? What do you? What are you saving to? Um, I'm still. He don't even know, bro. Fuck <laughs> it off. You know what? It be still, people still, like still, him that, that run they, they they run their dog from the same hard drive that they saving their, their sessions to. And be wondering why shit be, shit be crashing. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah, I do. <laughs> I don't see none, none of my it. none of my sessions, none of my none of my sounds. Nothing, nothing is on my computer. Yeah, the only thing that's nah, on my computer nah, is nah. the actual software. That's it. Well, I'm a DJ, right, so that's I, it. Same. I, I got shit yeah, separated same. though. But you're yeah. but you're right. I mean, okay. I got I got. It's just you know what I I really need to get move rid of the moving parts. Um. I'm I'm very Dude, we're, we're friends I'm, we're friends now we're friends now so I'm gonna look out I'm gonna you look hear out. that react <laughs> we are fucking yeah. <laughs> all right uh, before we before we dip what's new I know um, we got odd sketches but I I believe I saw you releasing something right after that I have uh, that I can talk about right now mm-hmm. three projects three more projects two that I know will come out this year the third one it's not up to me when it comes out but mm-hmm. um, it can come out this year. Okay. Um, you know, so but I have uh two more solo records and another actual instrumental album coming out 
but like a for real instrumental record. Oh, like, dope. You know? Well, I'm I'm very yeah. I'm very happy because um you you took you took a little hiatus for a second and I was like where's Odyssey, but I understand. Um, no, 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 for real, you did. I mean, but but you had kids. Like this, I had kids. I needed. I was burnt out, bro. I was yeah. burnt out, and I was burnt out. And as soon as I as soon as I got my mojo back, the pandemic. So, I know. Yep. No, I know yeah. this because yeah, I follow yeah, you. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not a stand. I yeah. promise, I'm not a stand. I'm just, you know, a fan. Look, 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 look. Fo- following me means you know you're over here, not in in my studio before exactly, I get there. So it's all good. Trust me, yeah. man. I'm, I'm, you're all good. We're gonna be best <laughs> friends, pal. For real. Uh, trust me. We got a lot more. I'm moving. The eye movement is throwing me off right now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. You see the records in the background, son. You know I got. You know I know the pedigree. I got it baby react can we just bring us out on my favorite joint of yours man and it's very house influence it's called okay on, it's called okay. on the table off the odd tape thank you very much man you are a gentleman Yo, a man scholar. thank y'all man for real thank y'all um, appreciate it thank you so much thank man you. um i i look for everything all things odyssey and and i'm gonna hit you up and we're gonna be best friends <laughs> <laughs> this is my shit, man. Yeah, this this record right here. Ooh. Whatever house whatever house moves I had, like the Quavo, we used to call it like you know, like, <laughs> like the This my shit. Woo-hoo. You gotta be proud of this. This is groovy, baby. This shit is it's okay. Jam. It's all right. <laughs> this is the jam right here. This is the jam. Oh, man. Thank you so much, man, brother. I appreciate you. Yo, man. Bye. Thank y'all, man. For real.